In this video, I'm going to review this electric can opener. It's supposed to do everything on its own. We'll find out. Welcome to the Average Me Channel. I'm Mark, and in this video, we are going to review and test this electric can opener. This is off Amazon. I will link it down below. And I've seen lots and lots and lots of these for sale. They're made in China. So I think what happens is people buy from a wholesaler and then just resell it on Amazon under a variety of different names. So this one has uh, an N on it. And the purchaser or the seller that I purchased this from didn't have any kind of an N or maybe if I hold it sideways, a Z in their name. So that's why I just suspect this is, you know, an item you can uh, bulk purchase. Now, before I show you how it works, I have tested this and I'll show you a little bit about the bottom here. It has, first of all, this is like a little push switch and that I suspect it is what operates it. It activates it. It tells it that there's a can and it can start turning when you push that button. Uh, it has a serrated wheel that grabs the edge of the can and then it has a cutting wheel here. That's really all there is to it, except for this. I checked the instructions and there's a little Phillips screw head in there. It doesn't seem to do anything. So I'll show you how it works and then I'll make an adjustment to this on a second can and we'll see if the adjustment does anything differently. Okay, we have two cans here and we're going to put the can opener on it. If it doesn't cut all the way around, I'm going to adjust it with the second can. So all we need to do is take this and let's see if we can get a good picture of that. We hook it on like that. Okay, so you gotta kinda clip it in there. And then I'm simply going to push the button. And it should try to find itself. There we go. Nope, well, that didn't do us any good, did it? All right, come on. All right, we'll try this again. Hook it on, push the button. Well, so far, this demonstration isn't real successful, is it? We well, can see now this cutting edge is out. Huh, and it wasn't out like that before. So maybe it's stuck. Let's see, Let's see if I can get, the, yeah, I can't get it in there. So right away, this is uh, creating a problem because that cutting wheel is stuck and I cannot get it to attach back to the can until that retracts. I don't know how to get it to retract. Let me see if turning that does anything. Okay, that forces the wheel to turn is what that appears to do. So. Maybe if I let it go, it'll eventually think it's done and it'll retract. There it goes. All right, we'll try it again. Put that on the can. Push the button. Okay, it cut all the way around, but it did not make it detach completely. Also notice, it does cut on the edge. It doesn't cut on the top, it cuts on the edge. So I don't like that because there's a lot of sharp edges here. The other problem that we encounter is this can doesn't have a lot of rigidity now. The can is kind of flimsy because it lost the strength of its ring. We're gonna try another can. 
and see if this one works any better. I'm going to let it stop on its own. Okay, you can see that it's cutting a big strip of the paper. I don't know if that could risk getting stuck inside the mechanism, but this is just a long strip of the label. And once, oh boy, now once again, you can see we've got a can of tuna here. That did not cut all the way around. That looks like a good three quarters of an inch that it didn't cut, and this is a real flimsy can now so I'm almost uh, afraid to try to pick it up because this can is it, it, when I try to grab it to pick up it, ju it just wants to collapse on me so as you can see it works a couple of things I don't like number one here I just took the label off the can and everything so you could see it better but number one you end up with a very sharp edge of the can with the traditional can opener, you still have that ring around the can, so the sharp edge is on the inside, much less likely to cut you. Here, that whole edge of the can is just a sharp edge. I didn't like that. Now, here's the other can, and this is how most of the cans turned out when I use this can opener. They never really got all the way through. There was always that little a connection that little hinge at the end and sometimes you try to lift it up and you have to hold on to the can to do that and then the can squishes and everything comes out the contents pour out um, so there is a tiny little magnet on the bottom of the can opener but it never lifts this up because the can uh, lid is 98 percent of the time it stays attached now, as far as hooking it up, you saw it wasn't the easiest thing. It's sort of like hit and miss to uh, get that to work. And when we look at this, uh, there's no real easy way to put a battery in. I don't think I had to put a battery in. It arrived with a battery. There's this thing down here. I have no idea what that is. Um, I don't know. The, the instructions were, you know what it's like when you get Chinese instructions and then they are translated into English and some of it might make sense, some of it might not. I didn't see anything in the instructions that talk about what this little lever is, um, but it doesn't seem to release anything. So if you're buying this because you're arthritic, well, good luck changing the battery with this. So how do I grade this? I grade it about a C. It works, but there are so many drawbacks I think I would just go with the traditional hand crank can opener. So that's it. Do you have a different experience, a different comment? Leave it down below. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.